Government bureaucrats destroyed under cross-examination. Martin North, John Adams, in the interest of the people. So today, Martin, we're going to talk about the cash ban. Uh, we're going to talk about the public hearing that occurred on the 12th of December about a week and a half ago. So this is a big uh, issue that I think is fundamental. And we only have seven weeks to uh, stop the government from passing this. Yep, it's a really critical issue. And, uh, you know, some people say you're talking about it too much, right? But I think it's so critical and it has become quite symbolic, if you like, of just how far Canberra is away from the reality of what it's like to be an ordinary Australian. Precisely, precisely. And, and one of the things that we're going to cover in today's show is, so in this uh, hearing that took place on the 12th of December, um, there was uh, four government agencies that testified to the, to the senators, uh, and then there were six non-government agencies um, now, obviously, obviously, all of the government agencies said they are in support of the bill, representing the government. And then in terms of the non-government witnesses, uh, five of the six were against, and only one, the Uniting Church of Australia, uh, was for it. And everyone's still scratching their head to say, well, why is the church taking a position on economics? Yeah, and it's worth saying, I think, that those public officials did a very poor job because as soon as they started speaking, it was clear that there was really very little substance behind the intent of the bill. Even if you bring this bill in, it's going to be very hard to enforce. It's going to be very hard to justify in a legal sense. Seven weeks, and we've got seven facts. I think these facts are critical. Um, and for those who are still engaging, talking to local politicians, I know there are certain delegations happening across the country. Mm. Um, I, mean, I would advise people beyond all the things that we've already discuss, discussed in all the other videos, um, these seven facts, I think, pull apart the government's case on the evidence that we've seen to date. Yeah, and to be clear, it doesn't pass muster on freedom. Yeah. It doesn't pass muster on money laundering, on tax evasion, and it leaves the door open for monetary policy to be able to effectively force people into the banking system. Yes, and, 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 and the key point is, but also the key point is, it doesn't pass muster in terms of, um, you know, uh, how you're going to actually enforce this law in practice. Yeah. So seven weeks, it's over to our audience. They've got an opportunity to pick up the phone, write a letter, send an email, reinforce to their MPs, and particularly Labour MPs, that this is just not a good way to go. Absolutely. John, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Martin North, John Adams, in the interest of people. We'll see you next time.